You know, you hear people all the time say what the top 10 best decks are or the top five rogue decks for a format. I want to talk about the top five worst decks of the March 2023 format. Because some people may think, oh, my deck's pretty good, when it may in fact actually be, you know what I'm going to say, part of the booty, booty, butt cheek category. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button. Button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1100 ladder truly am appreciative for all the support hope you're having a fantastic day so top five worst decks of the march 2023 format this is just my opinion and don't worry i'm not going to be picking on like table 500 decks like a row mages this is going to be things that people maybe thought would be good for the format or decks that are like fairly new that came out that just aren't hitting the mark so don't worry i'm not going to pick on like uh, the obvious table 500 decks so at number five i have gate guardian <laughs> so funny story with this um i net decked a person's build on youtube just to try it out see what it's all about and i made a board with gate guardian combined in defense mode the field spell which is actually not a hard once per turn it's a soft once per turn so it's like trickstar light stage if you activate three then you can put three of the gate guardian pieces in the back row so we had the field spell gate guardian combined in defense labyrinth heavy tank on the field and like a prey of the jirai gumo set and you know what happened <laughs> board got absolutely fucking broken <laughs> and i was like yeah no this deck sucks like it is a pile of horse dung and uh yeah no we, we dropped that deck like a bad habit so the gate guardian stuff as cool as it is it cannot compete with the current meta it cannot compete in the current format it's something that you can have fun at, on like a casual level at locals or something but you're not going to be taking this to a regional or a YCS and like performing like outstandingly and like getting eight wins in a row and then losing in the last round, top eighting and getting your fucking invite to Nats. Like it's just not going to happen. The gate guardian stuff is so cool in concept, but yet it misses the mark in the fact of like the field spell for one thing, like no monsters can attack the turn they're summoned unless they're level five or higher. So Kashtira just looks at the field spell and goes, okay. So uh, what you're saying is you're just going to let me finish that pizza. <laughs> like, it's so garbage. Like, what deck is going to be attacking with monsters that are level 4 or lower? Like, Labyrinth when they summon an Ariadne and try to attack? Like, that's not happening. No. Like, ain't nobody got time for that shit. So, yeah. No, Gate, Gate Guardian is just... It's cute. It's cool for what it does. The, the deck is super fun. I'll give it that. Uh, hitting someone with a Prey of the Jirai Gumo when they summon it in that column is really fucking hilarious. But it's so dog water. It's so bad. So, yeah, take that for what you will. At number four, believe it or not, Flunderies is one of the worst decks of the format. So, right when this format started, I saw some people, like, talking about Flunder and trying to make builds. They were playing the Water Statue, the Fire Statue, things like that. But outside of, like, I think some local tops that I've seen, this deck isn't doing anything on the regional or the YCS level. And I've said this before in previous videos, at least I'm pretty sure I have, that when you're looking at Flunder as a deck... Flunderies Empen is not that scary on its own. You know, like, yeah, like, now, like, if you play the deck, if you're able to back up Empen with, like, a scary C to negate the special summons, let the opponent normal summon three times, which Cash Chira just says thank you because they can just activate a fucking birth and move on with their day, um, and then backed up with, like, a map in a Dreaming Town, yeah, that's kind of scary, but Barrier Statue of the Broke-Ass Winds is what made that board so disgustingly good because the opponent was pretty much forced to normal summon a monster so that they could run over the statue. That, in turn, triggered the map so that you could play on the opponent's turn. Now, with the statue out of the equation, if you're even, say, like a Cash Tira player, you can just summon your, I don't know, Fenrir in defense and still get the effect to search a monster. Just summon all your stuff in defense. Like, yeah, the opponent can do something like dreaming town and go for some birds and like rise up your board or put an apex up but like 
is that really all that scary? Like if they do that and you're holding on to a lava golem, it's like, okay, great. Now I break your board because I have lava and I can just move on with my day. Or like since some decks are playing enemy controller now, they can just go, okay, cool. You've got more monsters on the field. Uh, econ, tribute my monster, take your M-Pin and like just move on with my day. So Flunder's really fallen off. Like I said, some people, I've seen people trying to test with like different statues and stuff, but like it's garbage. My dad was on Master Shits earlier today, aka Master Duel for all you new subscribers, and he lost to a Flunder deck playing Dark Cymorg. And I'm like, that's not even a real fucking format. Like, of course they're playing Dark Cymorg. The deck is trash. <laughs> so just don't don't play Flunder. Uh, <laughs> at number three, believe it or not, I have Eldelich. So I know that Hanko Chow recently wrote an article about the best rogue decks uh, for this format. And we do have a YCS up this upcoming weekend for those of you who were not aware. So maybe we'll see something happen with like one of these decks at the YCS. Um, but he did post in that article a Eldritch Dragoon stun deck. And the problem with Eldritch inherently, no matter what build like you're trying to put together, is that it just auto loses to Cash Tira. Like a Rise Heart being a walking, talking macro is just so disgusting. And if you want to play a trap deck, for even cheaper than Eldritch Dragoon stun deck, you can just play Trap Trick and it's arguably better. Like, it's funny because I was looking at the deck list on TCG Player Infinite, looking at all the advanced decks, and it was like Sprite Cash Tira, $670. Um, Pure Cash Tira, $970. Uh, Labyrinth, $400. And then you just see Trap Tricks, $37.70. <laughs> because, like, you can just slap three structure decks together and you have a fucking deck. Like, it's rogue as hell, but I mean... One could argue that it's better than Eldritch Dragoon Stun. Like, you don't have to invest in Dragoons. You don't have to invest in Pot of Prosperity. You just play your three contact Cs in the side deck and you screw over the uh, Cash Tira player if they're not playing, like, BLS Link or the, the Blacklister Soldier or Soldier Chaos Link, whatever the hell it's called. Um, so, like, you have better options. Or if you're willing to fork out, like, I would say on the cheaper side, 150 to 200, maybe 250 bucks, you play Labyrinth and you just have a better deck in general. Like Labyrinth is the new age Eldritch because it's just a strictly better trap deck, especially with like the stuff that it can do. Like, yeah, like banishing the Eldritch or stuff to set new ones is cool, but being able to have a compulse at any time in the grave in the form of Big Welcome Labyrinth is disgusting. Like unless Eldritch gets something like that, I feel like Eldritch is just going to fall to the wayside. And again, you can't ditch the Golden Lord if it rise hearts up because it's a macro. It's just too disgusting. At number two, I have, again, believe it or not, Gren Maju. And like, I keep on saying believe it or not, because it's like, you would think that these decks can be able to compete with the meta, but they just can't. Gren Maju and like rank eight or level eight axis, the deck, whatever it is that you want to call it, just struggles so hard right now because Again, like with Cash Tira, if they go first, and even if they just do a three zone lock, like, what are you going to do? Like, you're going to try and dark hole, like, okay, the Shang is going to save itself. The Arise Heart most likely has a Goliath attached. Like, you're eliminating the Diabolsis, but then, like, they may have Birth on the field or a Pressure Planet, and, like, most Cash Tira decks are playing Ash, so, like, you can't even go Kaiju Slumber because they can just Ash Blossom the shit out of you, and... Like, even if you're trying to play things like Alpha, they're just going to go Arise Heart Banish. Like, that Banish Interruption really hurts a lot of decks, a lot more than I think a lot of people think, to be honest. And so, it's a shame to not be able to see Grimaju do all that well, because, you know, even when I was testing against my dad when he originally thought he wanted to play Grimaju, being able to get out the Chang Ying Synchro and have it gain 100 attack for every Banish card is so good. And, like, being able to get out a Baron or even the Zombie Vampire, mill four cards, and, like, make a Draglubion with a Numeron Dragon and all these big beat sticks is so good. But, like, if you just get locked out on that first turn and, like, you're just not able to mount a comeback, like, it's such a hard time. Like, you have other decks, especially decks like Sword Soul that are arguably cheaper, that can just break those boards better. And, like, it's a shame, because, again, like, Rimanju is such a cool deck in concept. Like, it's, it's really awesome in that regard. Finally, at our number one, we have Junk Speeder Synchro the deck. Now, you're probably wondering, Avery, why are you talking about this? This is kind of random. This seems like a Table 500 deck. Yes and no. Once they get the new support in Duelist Nexus, they can finally play through Nibiru. They can finally, like, kind of have a footing in the meta. But I've seen some people online talking about, like, oh, this deck would be really good to play right now. You can just explode on the board and whatever. But yet, pretty much every deck is playing Nibiru right now. So, like, 
unless you're going to play cross out like some cash tier decks are, which I really don't fucking agree with, you're going to have a really bad time trying to play Junk Speed or Synchro Quasar or bust a nut on the board the deck because you're going to get blown the fuck out of the convention center when you get hit by that Nibiru or even that Lava Golem after the fact. Yeah, those Quasars look real cute. Let me go ahead and hit you with a Spear Mode or a Lava or Book of Eclipse your board, like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just like lava the couple negates, book of eclipse the board, and there you go, sugar boo bear. Like, we're good. Or I can bait out your negate and I can hit you with an econ. Econ is really disgusting this format right now. You gotta be playing three of it in your deck. So, guys, let me know what you think about these decks. This was in no particular order. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to talk about decks that are really on the worst side compared to other options that you have in the current format. Because, again, no one talks about the worst decks of the format. So, I think it'd be fun to kind of talk about that and have a little bit of fun with it along the way. So, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.